Houston, say again, please. Uh, Houston, we've had a problem. Hey there folks, welcome ye all to part 11 of Grim Dawn Definitive Edition on the Xbox Series X. We are exactly where we were at the end of part 10. Well, kind of. I haven't done anything off camera apart from I've cleared out the inventory and I did. Anyone who's watching the last part would know that I had a bunch of greens in here and I was unsure as to whether to replace some of the blue with the green and so on and so forth. Anyway, it turns out the armour was just too much to ignore so we've changed the pants and the gloves and the helm and I've put a illusion on the helm obviously to make it look like the hat that I like and the only thing left to do which I thought I'd do on camera before we speak to the two chaps in this room here which was where we were at the end of the last part we've got a couple of rather superb rare components now this one Tuned Lodestone is a rare component and it's got plus 5% critical damage, plus 20% lightning damage, plus 20% electrocute damage, plus 32 offensive ability, a 1 to 260 lightning retaliation, and it's got a granted skill of static charge, 20% uh, chance when hit. A surge of electricity discharges from you, damaging nearby enemies when they hit us. So I mean, it's just crazy not to be putting that. I've got two of them, a, which is making me want to pop it onto this amulet up here. Anyway, and I've also changed my amulet. I noticed that the blue amulet that we had on ha actually had a perk on it that was for a shield. A, did I keep it? Yeah, I think it was this one. The Blade Ward's Courage. Uh, and it had a provoke ability on it. And I'd upgraded that as well. So I've put that. I've also purchased this second chest, which was 10,000 coin. And anything, basically at the moment, anything that's not for this character is going to go in here. And so anyway, we've got, uh, yeah, we've got several of those. And I've also got several of these for the gloves. So because I've got four of those, I'm going to put those on these green gloves as well. So we're going to put that onto... The amulet. Sweet amulet. Whoa, what the shit? And look at all that. Unbelievable. Now, that amulet's also got a 33% chance on critical attack for healing me up and all sorts. Yeah, it's pretty sweet. So, and we're also going to put one of these on, which is plus 30% burn damage, plus 30% frost damage, plus 30% electrocute damage, plus 15 spirit, <laughs> plus 18 offensive ability, and plus 8% casting speed. Whew. Need to take a breath halfway through that. And we're going to put that on. A, what was it for? It was the gloves. Yeah. I mean, that is badass. I've also, you'll notice, I took this Berserker's Cowl off, but I've kept it. And I feel like part of the reason I was losing a lot of health in that battle was because when I hit Berserker mode, I go minus 25% elemental resistance and minus 25% physical resistance. So there's a you've got, there's a, a give to actually getting the Berserk perk, which uh, I think was damaging me a bit much. So anyway, that's it. And I've also, you'll notice that I'm going to give this bow one last run out. I'm not quite taking to it yet. <laughs> it is powerful, but I miss my I miss my blunderbuss. So I've got my blunderbuss in the inventory still down here. So I might swap back over to it if I can't take to this uh, bow at some point soon. Right, we're ready to go. Let's see what Morinay is saying first. Move along. I'm here to speak with the captain. Oh, well that's nice, isn't it? What saying, Cap? Is it finished? Is the Warden dead? I tracked him down and took his life. The Warden's defeat is a great victory for us. Nay, XP. for all of humankind. But there are many more ethereals out there. Some much more powerful than Krieg. Plus a thousand Devil's Perhaps Crossing more disturbing, rep. though. There are those of our own kind who would see us dead to take what little we have, or just for the pleasure of killing. Among the innocent who passed through this prison on their way to Krieg's lab, were many violent criminals, murderers, and worse. Many of them escaped to the northwest after the grim dawn, forming into ruthless gangs who prey upon drifters still traveling the roads. Since a river separates us and them, 
they have not been a problem thus far. Except we need farmers to get back to the business of growing food before we all starve to death. The farmland that supplied this region is to the northwest, and we need to secure a hold there. Mornay recently returned from Old Arcovia to the northwest and can give you details on the outlaw situation and what needs to be done. I realize that you have been through much in recent days, but we cannot rest just yet. Okay. Uh, I will speak to him. Uh, Mornay recently returned from Old Arcovia, yeah, we've already unlocked that, to the northwest and can give you details on the outlaw situation and what needs to be done. I will speak to him. Right, Mornay, you're going to speak to me now then, are you? So you must be the kid that's causing a stir in my absence. Yep. You've done good by dispatching Krieg. I knew that man in life. I dread to think of what he had become as an ethereal. Murderers and worse is the new quest we've got. Captain Bourbon said speak to you about outlaws. Aye, an old mess has come back to finally bite us right in the ass. The river's kept them at bay for now, what with the broken bridge. It seems the bastards have garnered a taste for the one hole in the world they were once so eager to escape. I'm not going to beat around the bush. We're at war, and if we don't take the fight to them, they will surely bring it to us. I'd much rather fight on my own terms, wouldn't you? What's the plan of action? With the bridge northwest repaired, I need you to enter the Arcovian foothills and show those bastards we're not a prize for the taking. Last I saw of them, they were mobilizing for something big across the river. Why don't you head on over there and introduce yourself? What happened during your expedition to the northwest? <laughs> Must have run out of money to pay the guy talking. I set out with another scout, Elsa to reconnoitre the lands to the northwest shortly after we had secured Devil's Crossing. What we found was a wasteland overrun with predatory beasts, blood-hungry psychopaths and refugees living in the constant terror of the run. Our mission together ended, our mission together ended when a vicious band of outlaws surprised us in the night. Elsa had argued against having a fire that night but I was sure we were concealed. I wasn't cautious enough and pay, and she paid the price. I thought I could protect her from anything, but when it came to it, I was felled by a bullet to the ribs before the fighting even broke out. Elsa fought on like a devil, taking down two of the outlaws before, she no uh, before they knocked her out. They took her with them and just left me there to die. I couldn't give up though, knowing those thugs had Elsa, I hobbled and claw and then clawed trying to make my way back to De Devil's Crossing, but arrived only to find that the bridge had been destroyed. I collapsed in despair and thought it was the end of me. I woke some time later in, the, in what remained of a little fishing village on the coast. A band of rovers had found me and treated my wounds. As soon as I could stand, I grabbed the dinghy rowboat and made my way back to Devil's Crossing. I'll be damned if I'm going to abandon Elsa to torture or worse at the hands of those killers. She's all I've got left in this world. We need to organize an offensive and every second counts. Don't you think you are mixing personal vendetta into this? The Grim Dawn took my wife. Elsa is like a daughter to me and I'm not... What? Oh, I see, right. <laughs> I got confused there for a second. Uh, the Grim Dawn took my wife. Elsa is like a daughter to me and I'm not going to let it take her too. The way I see it, Devil's Crossing needs this situation resolved as soon as possible and I want those scum dead for taking Elsa. Seems our goals align, eh? Very well. A thousand, a thousand iron. What the shit? And scrap. Three scrap. Okay, right. Well, I think we're... Uh, is there anything on this yet? The people of Devil's Crossing do not trust you yet. Jesus Christ, what, really? A respected reputation is required. Well, what is my reputation? I'll give you a good price. Friendly. Left. So it must go from friendly to respected or something. Uh, we're doing well, though, because we were, we were below that. It was on, like, red or orange or something before this. Marvellous. We're doing well, people. We're doing well. Right. 
I didn't get any skills for any of that stuff, did I? No. These guys have gone green over here. Where'd you find this guy? He'd make a soup out of stone if you asked him. I asked him to, and I reckon it would t still taste damn fine. Rock soup, eh? <laughs> Is it better than what you're, you, you've you been serving? we got a joker in our midst now, eh? Yeah, this guy's just got stories galore. <laughs> Let's hear another one. Let's hear another one. Continue. I think he just... Oh, he's gone. He's not green anymore. That's fine. He's playing with me OCD, people. Right. Should we get on with some action? Now, we can either go to Arcovia, but we've still got these two. We've got a strange key and Tale of Two Blacksmiths. So... A strange key is in. You're in possession of a strange key. Belongs to the cult of Thon. It will likely grant access to one of the hideouts in the area. Uh, depraves, use a strange Cree to enter the depraved sanctuary. It doesn't actually say where that is though, does it? I can't remember the conversation with the guy now. Tale of Two Blacksmiths was in the other area. Speak to Angrim in the Burwatch outskirts, yeah. So there's a bit of the map we've not quite sorted out there yet. So, let's go and see if we can get to the Burwatch outskirts, see what's what. Outskirts rift. Let's get a bit of action on, people. Let's get a bit of action on. Right. Uh, well, that's the guys that gave us the quest. So, yeah, there's a fair lump we've not done up here, isn't that? Let's go fight some shit, people. All is shite. There's quite a few of them. Magic time. Ooh, anarchy. Big mace by the looks of it. It's a blue. Bank. That's interesting. Was there a way to fix that bridge to Poggy Bank? Oh, uh interesting. This has brought us to Foggy Bank. Well, if it's undiscovered, I'm going to be discovering it, people. I don't care where it is. All XP. Ooh, see that tether there. This is the blood sworn, apparently.
Ah, uh, yeah, this is the Blood Swarm. This are the, these are the people I'm looking for, I think. For one of the quests, anyway. Big star at the top left. Right, let's give this bow another go. And if I don't take to it, I'm going to put me blunderbuss back on. Molten Walkers, that's the second pair of those we've had. Flame Patch, you ignite the very ground you walk on. Hey, yeah, we've got plus two to the rule of canister on the ones I'm wearing. Let's just try them. <laughs> I'm not sure if that's going to hurt anything or not. It's quite cool, though. Iron door is locked. Nice. The strange key, there we go. Well, as it happens, <laughs> it was the blacksmith we were looking for and we've ended up at the, the strange key, so that's fine. Right, what was it? Oh, hello. I realised there was going to be folk in it. Doing some fairly decent damage right enough, but I think I just miss, missed the big bada boom of the <laughs> the blunderbuss more than anything else. I mean, they both got sev some severe power on them. Blunderbuss is doing uh, poison as well as the fire stuff it's got. Although I don't know why, it's got a deficit though, hasn't it? Minus 73. Oh right, I think the minus 73 must be based on whatever Milady's doing. So it's telling me if I put that on, I'm losing 73 damage per second, I think. Yeah, that's quite handy, actually. So it's telling you if it's better or worse. But that's only in damage. It's not going to do things like slow target and all that malarkey. I've just noticed my lady's slowing the target, yeah. 17% slow target for two seconds. Let's give the blunderbuss another go, see how we go. My health had gone that low.
It always happens. The, the the quest is actually complete, isn't it? It's just a case of you can do what you like in here kind of thing, but the quest itself is actually complete. Untouched meal. Oh. that a glyph on the floor can't be good can it that was getting intense people Oh wait a minute! I've only just re I've only just realised that it's got dangerous domain written at the bloody top of the screen. <laughs> there is a yeah. It's going to tell me there's something. It's basically telling me there's something far more dangerous than I in this bloody place. So uh, there's a high likelihood I could die in here. Mm, covered all the other routes, I think. Seems to be a little yellow dot up here. Oh yeah, there you go. Yeah, Salazar. Blade of uh, blah blah. I feel like Salazar is going to be the end of me. Oh shit. <laughs> can't get out now. <laughs> Salazar's gonna destroy me and I can't get out. Well this could end badly. Fucking hell, she died fast there. Fuck. <sighs> hell, they'll get back there. There was something in that room that I'd taken quite a lot of health off, to be fair, but. Uh, fucking hell. What was that? God's sake, give me a zoom in button for the love of God. Oh, 
Yeah, it's a bit of a dodgy one, this, because... Oh, fucking hell. I don't know how I'm going to find this again. I can't remember for that. Yeah, there was a broken bridge. Yeah, foggy bank. I think we followed this. Fought a bunch of big guys here. Too bad then. I'm not entirely sure as to whether or not I can actually beat this guy or not. I'm not sure I even managed to get a healing. He killed me that quickly. I didn't really get the opportunity to try and heal myself. Same as Titan Quest, though. You don't have to go fighting all the enemies again. You just run straight to him. But there's no, there's no coming back once you're in. I can't open. Yeah, done. So whatever you do, you either beat him or... <laughs> yeah, I took some off him. Uh, God's sake. I've done that thing again where I... Bastard, why is he not dying? But it still says dangerous domain. <laughs> I didn't seem to get a great deal off him either, which is a bit frustrating. Christ's sake, it looks like he wasn't even the boss. I did just say boss defeated, but... Carefully, you know. I feel like this crossbow's kind of come into its own in this section. That poison damage is awesome. Turn out a uh, magical one. Never mind. A weapons rack with nothing glorious in it. Ooh. 
Ooh, hello, that's a big shiny chest. Heroic chest. God damn it. Could have given me a blue. <laughs> Subjug subjugator's etched horn of seren serenity. Oh, hello. Metal strong box. No. Holy shit, there's another massive chest here, look. Grand chest. Shit. Well, there was a lot of stuff there. Uh, I'm saying that though, it is possible it's giving me rare things for upgrading. What's that there? Yeah, well, that's a rare amulet for a start off. But we've already got our epic one on. Getting a lot of upgrade stuff, but. Not necessarily rare components I'm talking about. What's that there? Oh, the subjugators thing. Mighty Brigandine Greaves of Nature's Bounty. 171 armour <laughs> on those boots, and I've got 80 on the ones I'm wearing. Uh, I mean, there's a massive argument that says dump the epic ones, isn't there? It's got health regen on them, elemental resistance, plus four percent physique, plus eighty-nine health. But it's just—it's it's, almost—I mean, it's ridiculous. It's more than double the armor on on those boots that I'm wearing. Uh, and I can't see anything that I would miss. I mean, six percent movement speeds would be nice to keep, but you know, plus twenty physique's not a huge problem because we're starting to upgrade that elsewhere. But they're only level 5. <laughs> uh, and the ones I'm wearing are level 14. That's what I'm not understanding. Right, have a think about that. Uh, Taskmaster's Scale Mail Vambroses of Alacrity. Yeah, bonus to all pets, which we're not using. Whoa, when did I pick that up? Oh, that was Maven's Tome. Yeah, that's the magical one. Right, anyway, onward. Oh, we picked up a magical uh, wandy type thing as well, by the looks of it. Oh, it's a mace. Right. Well, I'm quite chuffed with that. We've cleared out an area that had a boss that was harder than I should have been able to beat, by the looks of it. Certainly know where I've not been. Pretty sure I've cleared it. I feel like, yeah, I, I mean, I realise there was loads of chests in the other room, but I feel like there should have been something around here, but there's not. That is the way out, please. <laughs> Fucking hell. Uh, nearly that. Right, well, that's another one closed off the list. So now it's just a case of finding Tale of Two Blacksmiths, which we do want to do because I'm wondering if it does give us the ability to have stuff made for us.
bunch of them up there. Took them right out. Big badges as well. Like we've done over there. So let's stick to this side. Destroyers globe toxic effigy of blah. Taking these big badges out for fun now, people. Come on. <laughs> that was outstanding. Not too far off a level up here, people. We've got a few things in our item that require 24. This is going to, we're going to be 23 on the next one. Badass. That seems to be undiscovered over there, doesn't it? A uh, yeah. There's a wee path going down. Look at that. There's a lump there that we've not done. Isn't there? Mud Row, yeah, I remember I discovered this before and I turned back, I think. Necromancer's leather something or other we picked up there. Yes, I feel like I've already discovered this bit. 
the bad news over. We are making very little in the way of uh, XP in this particular place now. What's going to jump out of this thing? Some acid move that guy had. Ooh, there's a couple of blues there, look. Now here's something that someone was kind enough to tell me. You can... You know how I was complaining that you couldn't quite get the item you wanted? Well, you just go onto them. And then once one of them's highlighted, just move up and down on the D-pad. <laughs> so there you go. Thank you to that fine person for that. Uh, Slithbane. Epic two-handed sword. And... Epic two-handed ranged. Ooh, what the shit? Is that a fucking gun for me? I think it might be, you know. Epic two-handed ranged. Crafted using wood from the forest outside Blackwood Manor. Uh, Blackwood Arbalest. God damn it. It's bloody... <laughs> it's another crossbow. It really wants me to use a crossbow, this thing, doesn't it? Uh, so, if we change to that, well, that Arbalest, according to that, is weaker than Milady by 116 damage per second. Um, I've not even got a, a level up on that, uh, uh, an upgrade on that. Another hood there. Yeah, I mean, our actual standard gear is pretty decent in the way of armour now. Apart from those boots, that's ridiculous. Double the amount of armour on those boots. Might have to put those on, you know. Right, let's crack on. Reaper's Touch it is a one-handed axe. The Mouldering Fields. I seem to be in places I've already been, but fighting enemies. What time are we on, people? Loads of time. I was thinking about making this a slightly longer episode anyway. Right, we need to discover where we're meant to be going here, people. Uh, yeah, Burwich outskirts we're supposed to be in. So I think we might have gone off track here a little bit. There's a lump over there that's undiscovered. I discovered. Yeah, I think that might be the way to go, you know. To the left, to the left. Yeah, Burwich outskirts is exactly where we're supposed to be. No. <laughs> this all part, I'm sure it's all part of the same thing, surely.
not overly sure if it's a little bit too quiet with the uh in the last part I turned down a couple of the sound effects one of them being the ambient the ambient noise Let me take it up a little bit not sure if it's just a little bit too quiet yeah let's go down this way growing on me this crossbow you know it's growing on me people don't think I'm too far away from the bloody portal again We're still none the bloody wiser as to where this quest is. I'm pretty sure that's us coming back upon the... Well, the portal's around the other side, I suppose. Well, that's the cluster of people just ahead of us that gave us the quest in the first place. Uh, there is a lump over there we've not discovered, I suppose. Uh, left. To the left. It's always to the left, to the left. Unless it's to the right, to the right, of course. <laughs> but otherwise, it's to the left, to the left. Look at that little bit of light shining down. That's brilliant. It's the little things, people. Ah, we've got uh, we've got ourselves a star, people. Top left, uh, top right, the top left of the radio map. We've got a wee bridge over to the guy by the looks of it. Nice. It's brilliant. There's more light shining through the trees there. Look. Fantastic. Right. Let's go over and see him. Not actually sure if I jotted that down for this. Uh... Tale of two blacksmith. Who's shooting at me? <laughs> well, whoever it is isn't doing an awful lot of damage. Where are you? Hey, dude. 
Angrim. That's it. How come they've left Angrim alone? Move along now, stranger. I hope you're out here fighting the good fight. Yes, I am. I'm here for the Malam Menir. Uh, what are you doing out here? I'm here for the Malam Menir. What do you know about that? Duncan needs it to help the refugees. Doesn't matter, I'm taking it by force. Uh, Duncan needs it to help the refugees. Uh, he is a talented boy, that one. The way he weaves magical properties into his craft astounds even me sometimes. I prefer a finely honed blade and a solid shield to that nonsense, though. Duncan was my finest apprentice, but he still needs to learn some priorities. Those people he's trying to help can't even help themselves. Our knowledge is a rare gift. We cannot squander it on those that refuse to fight for the care for care. I have a group in Devil's Crossing. You could join us. Devil's Crossing, eh? You certainly do seem like the capable sort. If the rest of your group is anything like you, well, humanity just might stand a chance. Very well, I will be your armourer. Yay! Together, we will strike back against the invaders and retake Cairn for humanity. On second thought, it's time the hammer was passed on. No, I don't want to do that. Actually, I think I'll just be taking the hammer. <laughs> uh... I'll see you in Devil's Crossing, side with Angrim. Open Riftgate. Yeah, I like the idea of that. Don't just be taking the guy's anvil, the guy who trained you and everything. That's just double crossing you. That's what that is. Right, I think this house is clean and we can go to whatever the anchor in Blas are now. Zoom out a little bit. Yeah, that's, that's better, isn't it? Should have done that earlier. Yes, I think we are good to leave this area now. And plus, the XP we're getting is very low at the moment. Which, it's always the sign of an area being tapped out, isn't it? So. Back to Devil's Crossing. Let's see what our armor, armor is saying to it, if we can find him. Might be up here. Oh, we've got an exclamation mark. Constance. I'm sorry if I insulted you earlier. Your, or your origins were just a bit startling. I hear that you braved the dangers beyond the lower crossing. I was wondering if you could help gather some materials. Uh, sure, what do you need? I might have them already. You see, I was a uh, seamstress before the grim dawn. Nothing special made just enough to get by, but now I see an opportunity to use my trade to make a difference around here. I would like to sew some new canopies and maybe some new clothes if there is enough fabric left. Alex and Jane deserve better than this. If you could please gather any fabrics you find, the people here would be grateful. The waterfront in Berwick would be a good place to start looking. Just gave myself a quest after clearing them all off. Never mind. Ah, there's the blacksmith, I think. Angrim. Many strong people, but uh, many strong people. My hammer will be put to good use. Thank you for bringing me here. Five G's by the Melum. Enlist the help of a blacksmith. Nice. Can't do anything with him yet, by the looks of it. Oh, you can. Sweet. Oh, hello. What does this guy do? Empowered relics. Calamity. Equilibrium. Ruination. Oh, crikey, what do I do with these? Um... It 
looks like. I put stuff in here. I put a whole bunch of stuff in there and then get something in there. <laughs> I think basically the components go in here by the looks of it. And a basic weapon with nothing in it would go there maybe. But I feel like it would need to be a... Ah, so we've already got a recipe. So we can make a calamity. Uh, no, uh, yeah, that's a calamity, isn't it? Oh, it's an empowered relic. Right, okay, yeah, I see. So it's a list of empowered relics, so I can make a relic. I think, actually, is that what I'm missing here? Is that what goes in here? Because if it is, that's awesome. So that would be... Oh, it costs 8,000, but we've got plenty of coin. So that would give us 1 to 4 physical damage, 5% chance of 40% physical damage, plus 10% fire damage, plus 28 offensive ability, and granted skill as calamity, 5% chance on attack, a burst of searing brimstones. Ooh. A burst of searing brimstones erupts from you. Two seconds skill recharge, eight projectiles, one meter radius, 148 to 221 physical damage, 142 to 212 fire damage, and 405 burn damage over three seconds. Complete bonus is plus random stats. What the hell? Well, there's equilibrium, which is more an elemental and spirit thing, and movement speed. Plus 4% movement speed on that one. That gives off stunned targets and such like. Overwhelm your by enemies with your mind. And then ruination, which is... Reckless devastation. Empowered relic. Piercing damage, cunning, plus 12 cunning, plus 4% attack speed. Begin rapidly attacking in the hopes of landing a few stray blows. Rapid strike. I think Calamity was the one I liked the best. Should we go with that? I've just realised that, that that's what this stuff's all about. These brain cells and tainted brain matter and ancient hearts. That's, that's what those do. They make these relics. We've got two of these, so we can afford to try it out. Combine. Uh, in fact, yeah, we've met got loads of these as well. Emeralds, Searing Ember, and Chip Claw. Stuff we've been picking up. Nice. Woohoo! 5G's relics from the past. Craft a relic. Uh, where's it put it? Am I going mad? Uh, or has it put it on? Oh, it's put it on. Because I didn't have one on. There you go. Calamity. Unbridled destruction. Nice. Super chuffed with that, people. But you can also do weapons. Holy shit. The omen. Oh, it's a sword. God damn it. Oh. Guns though. No, he's not got a blue gun yet. Oh yeah, was Omen not one we picked? Uh, a thing we picked up, a schematic or whatever it was. Rotating rifle. Scrap. And serrated spikes. Explorer's tunic. Nice. I can actually make myself some blues here. 182 armor. Oh, I've not got this, whatever this is. Resilient plating. Need some resilient plating to make it.
Oh, All right, hang on. I can actually make some resilient plating with scrap and scavenged plating. Yeah, of which I've got hmm, 37 of three. Nice. So combine that. We do two. And then go back to my armour. There you go. I don't know what that was. What was that one missing then? Dens fur. Brilliant. This is awesome. Yeah, we can make six. Dens fur. There you go. Make one. Explorer's tunic and Guardsman's breastplate. I feel like Explorer's tunic's more our thing. 130 armor. I'm trying to remember what we've got on. 130 armor, yeah. So it's like for like on that. We've got the gunslinger's jacket on at the minute, mind you. Plus 23 physique, plus 160 health, plus 5% experience gained. That's tempting. Ten percent pierce resistance, sixteen percent elemental resistance. That explorer's garments light up a durable armor for the eagle traveller. Ah, is it? Is this a set? Yeah, I feel like that's a set. So you'll get all those perks at the bottom. You'll get those if you make the whole set, of which we can't at the moment because we don't have the ability to do that. Yes, that's what it feels like. Guardsman's remnant. Yeah, same thing. Right. Okay. Well, I think we'll leave it. I think we'll keep the bits we've just made. <laughs> Let's put our components in here. Save storage. No um, okay. yeah, it's probably easier to sell the stuff we don't want, isn't it? It's only pro. I mean, I'm I'm getting to the point where I kind of feel like I should stop picking up greens. But that said, uh, <laughs> we put a whole bunch of greens on recently. 65. Yeah, I think we'll get rid of that. Oh, that belt's got a lot on it compared to what I'm wearing. Plus two to word of pain on that belt. And we are using that. We've already got plus two to word of pain on something else as well. It's the frost burn damage and stuff that's on the other one. Energy reject, yeah. It's pretty decent that. I might put that on. Any of those little things left that we can put on the belt? I don't think we have actually in here. It's all in our main thing. Right, sell so that. Well, that's got a perk on it. Ring of Steel, 20% chance when hit. In the blink of an eye, hundreds of phantasmal blades encircle you at lethal speed, cutting down adjacent foes. Holy shit. Might be worth trying those out, just to see what that's like. It's got a 20% chance of happening. I didn't actually upgrade the Kex either, so not wasted anything. Right, they're on, people. They're on. Yeah, that can go. Shields can go. Axes can go.
God's sake. <laughs> How much stuff? Oh, that's my blunderbuss. I don't want to get rid of that, do I? Oh, we're going to try those boots out, won't we? What? Those gloves have got 171 armor on them. Oh, yeah, but it's bonus to pets, so it's kind of pointless. The armor's good, though. Christ's sake. I'll stick with what I've got for now, because it's got all that bloody damage stuff on it. That's all the that's two of the components we made, I think. Oh, that's a rare amulet. Lightning sphere. Required player level 24. Seals, wounds and men's broken bones. Fal toxin, which induces heavy bleeding in the target. Good grief, people. This must be an exciting watch. <laughs> it's happening. Gone from full action to being stuck in a menu again. It's these little ones that do me head in, because they're all like... I could do with just getting rid of all my components in a wanna rather than having to go through them one by one. Put it to good use. Should stack most of these because I've got. Yeah, that was new. Bit of an argument says we should put those in there as well, as soon as how they're crafting stuff. Leave as much room as possible. That I bought into that extra place now, so I can keep all of this free. The sword looks good, doesn't it? Two pairs of those molten ones now. So the question is, we're going to try these boots out. 171 armor, and what were those though in armor? 66, yeah. What we're losing movement speed, 6%. And slow resistance. Oh, plus 2 to Rune of Callister. Also, we could do with upgrading that belt. Bloody belt ones are always the ones that are hardest to find. All armor.
I don't know if I've got any left now. I think I had plus 15 armor in the other one. No, I'll leave it for now. Well, Christ's sake, that was another 15 minutes in a bloody menu, wasn't it? Got the blacksmithing sorted out, though, which is pretty cool. Uh, I don't want to speak to him yet. We have got another quest. We've got the seamstress to do. Uh, Constance from Devil's Crossing. Yeah, but it's waterfront in... The waterfront in Berwick. So, I think, though, I think we'll have a head into the new area first. Oh, who's that? The Emissary. Ah, we speak at last. As I am sure you know, there are many who now cast their gaze upon you, Traveller. Or should I say, taken. Some who mean you ill. Some who fear your potential. Then, there are those who command me. They have taken great interest in your accomplishments. It appears you may be just the one we require. The what? I cannot speak of such things in this place. The cursed gaze of our foes is cast upon us here. So, I will be brief. Great powers are gathering within the distant lands of the fallen Corvan people. And the Great Eye has decreed that you must play a part. Whatever that may be. Will you answer our summons? Will you join me through the portal? Or do the mortal concerns of these people outweigh the calls of fate? This begins the Forgotten Gods expansion content. Ah, right, okay. I have some other matters to attend to first. Right, okay, so he's a DLC, so we'll ignore him. Old Grove Bridge Repair Site, eh? All right, now I'm confused. I thought I repaired the bridges over here already. Is there two bridges then? That's it, B. Markovian foothills, here we come. Looks like a change of scenery, doesn't it? Now it does feel like a western. It's even a stagecoach been pulled over. <laughs> uh, a bit more XP happening in this section. Seems we've got very quick on my feet all of a sudden. Might put something on with some uh, fast foot speeds. We've not had a level up in this whole part, have we? I can think of. Shows you how little XP we were getting in that area. It's not going to take long in this area, though. to the big gate it is then. Alright, we've got a quest marker. Go on, give us a level up. Holy 
Fuck. Health was going down there. Woo! Level up and ride your pony! Edmund Shanks Doyle, you'll pay for this. Cough, Darius wants this prison. And when he finds out you've done what you've done, Edmund spits blood. You'll wish I shanked you dead. Edmund Shanks Doyle. Rest in peace, scum. <laughs> Just leave him there. Stalwart murderers. Something or others. Well, we've got a level up to do, people. It could be rude not to do it. No, he's still dying. He's making the most. He's just milking that now, people. Well. Definitely going for Zeke. And skill wise, three points. Well, Word of Pain is getting some help from somewhere. Storm box of Elgloth. Could try and tap into this one now, or are we going to get the snow one, or are we going to keep going for the. Yeah, this slows enemies down, though. This might be well handy. Let's get their frost on, eh? Give ourselves another another option. What's that one there? Word of renewal. Yeah, invigorating. Uh, the word of renewal established Inquisitors as priceless assets during wartime due to its ability to invigorate the Inquisitor and their allies. Yeah, and steal them from foes. So these are sort of magical helps, like healing and stuff, I think. So, uh, do we do another one of those or do we do another one of those? seems to be the radius going up. Chance to pass through enemies, 100%. Yeah, I should probably do that first, I think. Right, well, let's get it assigned, people. We'll put it on A, because we had that on um, Pet, didn't we? Rune of Haggard. Or Haggarad, sorry. Whoa, I spike. Oh, that's an item. Eh, uh, did we get a. I doubt it, but did we get a devotion? shooting from that house. Yeah, it looks like it might work the same way as the fire one does, like a glyph on the floor. It didn't go off, did it? people to talk to to the left Kaiman's retreat well I think the next part is going to be full on action 
for the main part. So those, those spinning blades burst off me there when they tried to touch me. So that's working. Nice. There's the ice blast people. Have it. Brilliant. Got some serious moves on us now, people. Doesn't seem to be using up our energies too much either, which is decent. Never, never run out of energy yet. So I think I'll try, what I'll try and do is, similar to the way this episode started, I'll do as much of the inventory stuff sort of off camera and then just show you any points of interest that I've discovered. On camera, which it makes for slightly more interesting watching, I think. And how my health went down so quick there. I don't know if they're like stone giants or what. Beasts, whatever they are. It's Arcovian foothills. Keyman scripture. that straight away. I 750 bonus, what the shit? Right, well, I think I'm going to use this little quiet location to end this part and begin the next part, people. And we'll speak to Stephen the Skinner <laughs> uh, in the next part. Oh, it's Stephen Skinner, not Stephen the Skinner. Might be safe though. Frank's brother. Somebody inside the house as well. Right, we will. We will use that for the beginning of the next part, people. Yeah, thoroughly enjoyed that. Quite enjoying kind of just taking these episodes a little bit longer than the hour because I sometimes feel I'm cutting it short with the amount of menu work you have to do sometimes. Uh, I'm quite enjoying these slightly longer stints. Uh, and I hope you are too. It has been an honour and a privilege serving for you once again in Grim Dawn on the Xbox Series X. And I'll catch you in the next one, folks. Take it easy. Bye.